Hello everyone, welcome back to Journey to Krobus. Let's check the luck today. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Oh, I am excited about this. So we managed to get two more donations. Oh good, I already have the ore in the inventory there. We're gonna craft ourselves some more magnet bait and we are going to have a little more fun with fishing today. Since our luck is better, we should have a better chance of getting chests and of getting artifacts. I believe our luck does affect the likelihood of artifacts showing up in the fishing chest. So that would be a very fun thing for us to test out. Whoop. Last little bit of watering over here. I see we have some corn finished, so that's exciting. Let's go get that all harvested up. Oh, I'm going to be so glad to upgrade these sprinklers. Now, being that this was my very first time using the basic sprinklers, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. I wasn't expecting to like them as much as I currently do. They definitely help out with the watering. So in the future, if I decide I am not going to go extremely quick with all of the farming and stuff, like it would probably be good for something like the Meadowlands farm where you're not probably not going to be focused completely on farming a lot because you start off with some chickens. So you have more of like an animal area probably could be good to use the basic sprinklers just because you're probably not going to level up your farming skill as quickly. I'm going to walk away and the bars are going to be done and then I'm going to have to run all the way back. It's going to happen. <laughs> uh. oh. What's going on over there? I thought I walked into something. Oh, there's a chicken. And I think I just heard our bars pop up there. <laughs> Wonderful little eggies. How are our chickens doing? Oh, one hot, one heart. <laughs> Pickers. <laughs> uh, might have to name a chicken Pickles. <laughs> Pickles the chicken. I think that would be quite funny. Or maybe Pickles the duck. That might be cool too. You might have to name a duck pickles. Why? I have no idea. It just seems like a fun thing to do. <laughs> okay, let's get a little bit more of that going. And we definitely want to get to the museum so we can donate our two items. Very excited about all of that. How much bait did we have left here? Only four pieces. Okay. Um, we are going to wait for that to finish. And then I think I might even haul one of those furnaces <laughs> down to the beach with us so I can continue smelting some iron bars. <laughs> so we can keep crafting ourselves some bait. I have gotten so smart in this file about convenience because normally I would just leave everything at home but lately I'm like you know what let's just take it with us we're gonna use it we need it <laughs> might as well look at all that lovely hay crop there <laughs> our chickens will be very happy with that okay Gonna put that away and our watering can. Okay, come on. You're killing our fishing time bars. <laughs> we need you for bait. I should have smelted more yesterday. <laughs> dun dun. Dun. There we go. You know what? This is going to be quite the project. Let's just take it all. <laughs> we are, yeah, yeah, we'll take it all. <laughs> Why not? 
to the museum. And, oh, oh, rats, we need to give Linus his tuna. We should have done that while the bars were smelting. I never even thought about that. Okay, we'll take the long way to the museum. <laughs> Those minecarts, I tell you. The bright side is we did remember. Okay, Linus, here we come. Now, if tradition follows, he will be standing somewhere around by the lake. <laughs> Uh, maybe he'll be inspecting that bush again. <laughs> I guess this gives us a chance to check for any artifact spots up here. Okay, Linus. Are you up here? Oh, it's hard to see this little standing spot there. Nope. Are you over here? There he is. Yep, by the bush. <laughs> Too funny. Here is your tuna. Hey, so you saw the notice I posted. Thanks so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Not quite sure how Linus manages to afford 300 gold, but we won't complain about that. I'm actually surprised we don't see Linus doing any fishing. Because you think he would do that so he could like roast his own fish. It's too bad we couldn't donate him like one of our older fishing rods like the bamboo pole or the fiberglass rod that we never use anymore. It'd be kind of cool if we could gift him a fishing rod to use. Ooh, lots of notices. A large mouth bass. Well, we can probably work on that. I've kind of been enjoying how much money we've been getting lately. Like we could go and do some of those community center bundles quite comfortably. Okay, let's get set up here. We'll just go like this for now. Oops. Get that all going. And I realize we did not go to the museum. Okay. <laughs> It is one of those days, everyone. <laughs> oh well, our bars can smell. We'll make more magnet bait. It's gonna be good. <laughs> oh. You know, I am forgetful, but at least I have been remembering. <laughs> oh, Alex working hard selling ice cream. Good for him. Okay, we have some donations. One emerald. Let's stick it up here with all the green stuff. <laughs> and yeah, we'll make that our little skeletal donation place. Oh, so close. Oh, if we could fish up six artifacts or even three. Well, of course, we would be satisfied with just one. So we're getting greedy thinking six or three, but... Oh, wouldn't it be something... Okay, time to craft ourselves some bait. There we go. And bait on the fishing rod. There we go. Okay, let's see if we can do better today. <laughs> I'm like a little scared the furnaces are just gonna burn down the dock. <laughs> Nothing like old wood and fire. Good thing there's a lot of water around. <laughs> oh, come on, fish. Are you one of those sneaky little puffer fishes? Most likely. I think the octopus are sleeping for the day. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think this one just really enjoys tormenting me. <laughs> oh, I think we're going to lose that one. <laughs> well, at least we get to watch our furnaces working hard there. <laughs> oh, yep. 
Oh, wonderful. Can we get an artifact? Oh, <gasps> we did! We got one! Oh my goodness! I am absolutely loving this. So we managed at least one donation, which is exactly what we wanted. So let's see if we can get some more. Can we be that lucky twice? <gasps> oh my goodness, we got another one. Fishing, tre fishing treasure chests have a chance to yield roe. Okay, so we can read that book and then we can get some fish roe in our chest. Now, yes, I did not read it at the moment. I'm not sure if the row would kind of take over getting artifacts or not, so I'm just gonna neglect reading it for the time being. Two artifacts, like, oh my goodness, we just got enough here. Oh, it's so exciting. We need, what, four more? Oh, the next fish we grab, we should probably swap out the iron bars there, or we're defeating the purpose of having it all down here. <laughs> okay. There we go. This is some of the most exciting fishing I have done in a while. <laughs> I mean, the challenge bait was very exciting. But, uh, getting this close to Krobus is even more exciting. Will we get lucky? Oh, we've already got that one. Okay, but it was still a potential artifact, so that is still very exciting. Oh, look at all the chests pop up today. This is so much better than yesterday. Way better than yesterday, like... Oh, I'm so happy we decided to do this today. A mystery box. Oh, our inventory is getting so full with all the stuff. Okay, uh, let's put those in there. We don't want to accidentally get rid of those. Mystery boxes, we have to go to Clint's in order to break them open. And it's kind of weird because I have opened a few mystery boxes. And as it turns out, breaking open a mystery box can give you more mystery boxes. <laughs> I once cracked one open and got three more mystery boxes. <laughs> it was a little, a little crazy. It was like the nesting dolls of mystery boxes. Wow, these chests are amazing. Keep them coming. And uh, new artifacts would be like extra good. Seaweed. Dun dun. Now, I brought the gold bars down to the beach with me just because if that treasure bobber runs out, we can craft ourselves another one. Oh, goodness, it's getting closer to that time of night where those... Oh, uh, yeah, that's probably a super cucumber right there. <laughs> okay, we have a chest on the line. Sneaky thing. Oh goodness. Please do not escape. No! <laughs> oh, that's painful. <laughs> okay. Get our. Oops. <laughs> Sat down on a bench. <laughs> that's too funny. Oh my goodness, these super cucumbers are just tormenting me. <laughs> We're not doing as well with them as we did yesterday. Mm. 
but I am still very pleased with the amount of treasure chests we've seen today and what we have gotten out of them. Like, it has been so good. Definitely love to see some more, especially if there's some easier fish on the line. Oh. Come on, fishies, bite. I think we have a pretty good setup here. We can make our magnet bait. Oh my goodness. Super cucumber. <laughs> this is why I have to smoke every single one that I catch because they are such a pain to catch. <laughs> oh. Come on. See, now, why couldn't the one that had the chest on the line be that easy? That's probably the easiest super cucumber we have caught. In. <laughs> I see some bubbles. Oh. Wow, I'm surprised we actually caught that. Um, looks like we need to empty out our inventory quickly. So let's go do that. I'll we'll put all of this stuff in here, and I guess that's all the space we got. Oh, the bubbles disappeared already? <laughs> oh, that was very short-lived. I was all excited. I'm like, wow, if we can uh, do that many more casts, maybe we have that much better of a chance. Okay, how is our tackle doing? Ooh, it's just about done, but that's okay. Will it get us one more chest before it completely wears off? Mm, I don't know, it's not looking like it. <laughs> Ooh, our iron bars are ready to go. Okay, broken glasses. You can go up top there. Whoops. Okay, he went. Dun, dun, dun. 920. Oh, I'm so sad. Our lucky day is ending, but we have gotten some artifacts, so I can't complain too much. It's been a good day. We remembered to do our quest. We will have to uh, try to catch that largemouth bass tomorrow. And that one snuck away a little bit. Okay, our tackle has worn out. So, let's craft a new one. Gonna have to craft some more bait here right away too. Oh, I should have put more. You know what? It's kind of late in the day. I don't think I want to leave the furnaces down here because they may get ran over there. <laughs> so, uh, we'll just do that. Okay, we haven't seen a chest in a while, so let's get lucky again. Come on. We had so much excitement going on, and now we've lost momentum. All thanks to that super cucumber. <laughs> I think we will stay down here until about midnight. And then we will run back to the farm. Oh, I'm so sad that we're not getting the chest like we were earlier. That was like so exciting. It was like one right after the other. Okay, after this fish, I am going to do my best to remember to craft ourselves some more bait. <laughs> Look at that, we have two sea jellies. We're getting a lot of sea jellies. We're <laughs> really gonna have to start uh, fishing in the caves again so we can get more cave jelly. <laughs> the lava eels are a good profit. It's just harder to get treasure chests when you're dealing with them. Of course, it probably would be smarter for me to fish up by the lake because most of the fish there are pretty easy to catch. So that would make it less likely that we would lose the treasure chest. That's always something that you have to consider is 
Where are the fish easier to catch? At the ocean, there is just so much variety right now, and those super cucumbers just make it so much more difficult. Oh, look at that. Oh, I was, I was hoping for something a bit more exciting, but frozen geodes have artifact potential, or at least mineral potential. Okay, this might be our very last cast of the night. What is it gonna be? Oh, and we don't get a chest for it either. Well, it is what it is. Okay, we do have space in our inventory. We are taking these home with us. I was gonna say, watch them just fall into the ocean. <laughs> okay, we will move any doubles up there and take our stuff home. Artifacts can come with us. Uh, I believe the mystery boxes for now, we don't really have space for them. Let's leave that book here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, maybe leave the gold down here too. Well, we are going to have to fish at the lake. We'll take that with us. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, the fun run home. So glad we are getting so close to Krovis. Soon we'll be able to get into the sewer. We'll be able to greet him <clears throat> by an very expensive void egg if we don't get a visit from the witch soon. <laughs> uh, more times than not, I end up having to cough up the $5,000 for a void egg, but you know, for Krovis, 100% worth it. He is just fantastic. <laughs> oh, such a fun guy. Okay, let's get that into the smoker there. We might as well pop these back down and get ourselves some more iron bars going. Okay, let's sell the rest of the fish that we are not going to smoke. Perfect. I think I'm happy with that. All right, everyone. Thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you next time.